What up, what up, what is going on guys, GS, welcome back to another Madden 15 online ranked match, and today we have the Houston Texans going up against the Minnesota Vikings, today's going to be a very busy day, very, very, very busy day, I have a 24 hour stream coming up at some point tomorrow, uh, twitch.tv slash Sports. link is in the description, go ahead and check that out, if you guys want to go ahead and follow, if you guys have not already, um, so, you know, with that 24-hour stream on its way, I got to go on ahead and make sure I got videos for today, tomorrow, and Sunday. So, going to be doing a whole lot of editing today. A whole lot of editing. Um, in this game, man, we're using the Texans. Offense, we're using Oakland. Defense, we're using Multiple D, which is based out of Dream Killer's uh, ebook. Again, right there, don't test the user. He is so distressed. Respectful. I know you see me there as we take it in. Shimmy it on up, baby. As we take it on in for a pick six. Always a huge, huge thing when we're able to make something happen defensively. Um, a lot of whole things in the description. Let me just go ahead and name them down. Twitter is in the description. If you guys don't follow me, please do. Um, that way you can see when I'm live streaming, you know, when I'm playing viewers, when I'm, you know, you get up to date on everything. Uh -huh. We also have uh, MadamMastermind.com. Make sure you guys go ahead and sign up for your free account today. Uh, my offensive uh, mini scheme out of Oakland will be there this year. And I'm, you know, really excited about that. Just putting the final touches on that. I only use a couple formations out of the playbook. That's why it's only, you know, a mini scheme. Uh, I mainly just stay out of snugs and pistol. But uh, I struggled offensively this year. Uh, started using Oakland. Had some, you know, really, really good success. Now, I know I'm not the best player in the world. Anybody can tell you that. I'll be the first to admit that. But I have, you know, been able to reach the top 100 a couple times um, within the last few years. Consecutively, I'm, you know, well on my way again uh, this year. Now, by no means does that mean that makes me a great player. Just means I'm able to go online and uh, compete and consistently win. Now, we all know, like, the top, top Madden players. Like, all of the guys who play. Look at that dot right up the seams. All the guys that play... You know, in big tournaments, things like that, they don't even touch online. They mainly just play, you know, for money on saloon and other things like that. So, um, again, by no means does this mean that I'm a great player. Uh, I'm just, you know, a little above average. I, I think I'm a good player, decent. Uh, but I think, you know, the offensive scheme, mini scheme will, you know, you know, maybe help some of you guys out. Even if you're better than me, maybe a, a hot route that you never tried or, you know, a coverage beater that you never thought of or maybe a, a one play that I used that maybe you overlooked that's in your playbook you could bring into your own, you know, things like that. So, I don't know, you know, but uh, sign up for your free account. Go on ahead and check it out. It's going to be coming soon. And, um, yeah, Dreams E-Guide is there as well. You guys see the blitzes I'm running. That's from him. And, uh, yeah, all that stuff's in the description. Check that out. Also, my Twitch. And my t-shirt shop, got a new t-shirt coming out soon, which I'm excited for. Uh, the design is Pantherine. I'm excited. It says, I am Pantherine with a big old, beautiful, black, sleek, Pantherine, mean-looking thing with uh, some Wolverine claws. It looks amazing. Uh, I already have the design already done. I'm just um, a very lazy human being, and I have to go. I actually have to go on and put it on the t-shirt shop and all that stuff. But that's coming very soon, so check that stuff out. Um, about the Houston Texans, man, I'm, I'm really, really excited uh, to use this team because I know their defense is really, really good. You know, with the addition of Clowney, they have him at, I think, right linebacker. He's like an 83 overall, I want to say, if I'm wrong. Excuse me. 81 or 83, but I'm thinking 83. Um, you put him as a left end uh, across from J.J. Swizzle, and the man is a 91 defensive lineman. Uh, uh, you know, you have him along with J.J. Watt, which makes an incredible front line. You know, uh, the, the team is fun to use. I'm personally going to be watching a lot of Texans games this year because I really, really think Clowney has the potential to be just a monster. He's a physical freak, and I'm really excited to see how he does in the NFL. Like, I, I'm going to be watching a lot of Texans games, like probably all of them, just, just to see what he's good. That's how great I think he can be. Now, I'm not saying he's going to come out the gate with 15 sacks his rookie season, but uh, I, I think he has the potential to do really, really well. And, uh, you know, they're... Oh, right, another snag, though. And I think they're really, really, really fun to use. They have everything you need. You know, they have a very good running back, one of the top wide receivers, you know, pretty good tight ends. Is that another pick six, though? Is that eat some dirt, son? Another pick six right there. Swing. So... 
Um, you know, they, they have, you know, what you need offensively. Defensively, J.J. Watt is the best defensive lineman in the game. That man is damn near one-man nano. Uh, he's unblockable. You know, you may hold him for a little bit, but he's coming through. You know, he's coming through. Um, you know, they got good corners, good secondary. They have, you know, everything you need. Uh, only thing they don't have, and uh, this definitely accounts for real. Look at that RB strip. I just want to see you strip right now. Woo, damn, I haven't used that line since, what, Madden 12? <laughs> so, um, the only thing that they don't have, and I would account this in, uh, in real life as well, is a very good uh, quarterback. Other than that, man, they, they have everything, you know. Um, and, and I definitely enjoy using them. Nice little out pass right there to the outside shoulder. Allows us to kick a field goal right before halftime. So, at this point, I, I'm thinking game's over. 31-7, I get ball at half. Uh, you know, I'm going up against somebody who... Really doesn't have too much of an idea on what it is they're doing. You know, they're calling, you know, uh, basic, simplistic plays. And uh, we're able to go on ahead and, you know, prevent pretty good yardage. You know, offensively, uh, we're doing really, really well against his defense. Again, he's coming out and, you know, basic coverage. Not really sending any blitzes. Not really sending, you know, anything but, you know, man-to-man -man and, and, you know, your soft coverages, which we've learned to attack. And uh, so... I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much over. But always shout out to this guy for sticking through the game. A lot of times, like you guys have seen on my much stream, where I'll get a first down on somebody. They'll just quit. Just, I don't I don't, I don't know. Maybe they have a no first down rule. I don't know. But when you go up against somebody like this, you know, it's, it's nothing but respect. Because you can learn from games like this. Like I said, I've gotten the snot beating the hell out of me plenty of times. But you learn from them. You know, when it's games like this, um, you know, the opponent I'm going against should be able to learn against things like this, you know. And uh, like I said, shout out to him for sticking to it, not quitting, taking his lumps and fighting through it. Because, again, a lot of people are very impatient and would have easily, you know, quit out. I would say at like a 95% rate, somebody going through this type of ass whooping would have quit. So when you go up against that 5%, that, you know, stick through it, still try to battle through it, still, you know, try to move the ball, you know, still try to stop you on defense, not just giving up, you know, you got to give them nothing but respect for, you know, trying to fight through it. Uh, right there, whoo, almost another user interception would have been our third on the day. That good old edge sting, though, ah, that should have been my zone over there in the middle. That edge sting still works. Good old sneaky edge sting since from like Madden 11. That edge sting has been A-gapping ever since then. But, um, yeah, so like I said, shout out to him, man. But this game is, you know, uh, pretty much one we dominated on both sides of the ball. And we're able to just easily, you know, fly away with the victory. So uh, I got some things coming up for you guys. Now we got some pack openings coming up. Uh, the reason why they're not going on the Mud Channel, people are still asking about that. I know I'm going to start, trust me. I've just been, you know, lazy. I'm a lazy bastard. And I'm not going to lie. That's why I think we all get along so well. I know a lot of you are lazy bastards. Don't lie. Don't lie, a lot of you are lazy bastards. That's why we get along so well. That's why I love you guys. Well, you know, we all got our lazy ways. <laughs> um, it's going to be, um, I think I'm going to start it maybe during a 24-hour stream. My Mutt team on PS4. And I'm going to be able to get that footage and throw all of that stuff up there on the channel. Um, but I got some pack openings on uh, Xbox One. Oh, yeah, like I said, the reason why I'm not, uh, the RB again, the reason why I'm not putting the pack openings on that channel <clears throat> is because I don't want to show pack openings and me getting players that I'm not going to use, you know, all I'm going to use on uh, my Mutt channel is nothing but the PS4 team, I'm not opening any packs, I'm just using the team that I got trying to win, and, um, like, I don't want pack openings of me getting, you know, elite players or better players, and people are like, wait a minute, didn't you pull, like, a, you know, 86 Andre Johnson last week, where the hell is it, you know, no confusion, so I'll just upload the pack openings here, you know, and um, we'll leave all the gameplay and all that stuff on the other channel. So we got some pack openings, man. We got some some gameplays coming for you guys. Got a game against Monster Chappie that we played the other day that uh, might be going up tonight or maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday, one of these next days. Like I said, I'm going to edit nine videos today because uh, tomorrow I'm not going to be able to do anything because I'm doing a 24-hour stream. Sunday, I'm probably going to be sleeping all damn day and miss football because I just had a 24-hour stream on Saturday. So I got to get a lot of things prepared today. And, um, you know, so we're going to get some pack openings, some online rink matches. Like I said, we got a game against Monster Chappie. We're uh, posting soon as well. So a lot of good things for you guys, man. Like I said, this game was just uh, a stompage. But like I said, man, you got to show nothing but respect for your opponent who went ahead and, uh, and, and stayed with it. So, again, man, link is in the description for Twitch. 
Like I said, 24-hour stream coming tomorrow. I should be receiving NHL 15 at some point today or tomorrow. Uh, EA is sending me a copy. Uh, I know it comes out on the 9th, but I signed up for it, and I should be getting it. I think I was supposed to get it yesterday, so maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know when they shipped it out. I, I don't know if they, they did it one day, but maybe they did standard 3 to 5 shipping. I don't know what the situation is, but I should be getting that soon. So I plan on playing that in the 24-hour stream, a whole lot of Madden, you know, some FIFA, whatever whatever games I got. You know what I mean? So it should be a lot of fun. Check all that stuff out um, in the description. And, uh, yeah, that's it, man. This game right here is coming to an end. Uh, we did beautiful on both sides of the ball. Again, we played somebody who didn't have that much knowledge of the game. But, um, you know, we used our knowledge that we gained so far and uh, came up with a pretty good victory. So, that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's your boy, GS. And we are out. Peace. Give me the baby.